Grab the kids and gather around. It is time to imagine it. We are backstage at the Imagination Station with the Chief Scientist, Carl Nelson, and an important safety lesson. I, I think your breakfast is getting a little bit burned here. That's just flambe. <laughs> <laughs> no, this can actually happen at home, right? You're, you're cooking something and it catches on fire, and what do you do? What the, do you do? The easiest thing is you, you, you know, just put a lid on top of it. Right. Okay? Turn off the flame. The oxygen will be consumed by the flame and you're safe. No, you have to remain calm when you do that. Remain too. calm, right. You, you don't want to like pick this up and try to move it and do something like that because if it's flammable, it could spill, it could spill on you, it could be really dangerous. Sure. Right? So just put the lid on. If you, don't, if you don't have a lid, cookie sheet, anything flat. Okay. Snuff out the oxygen. Um, but that's what you're supposed to do, that's what you should do. Let me show you what you should never do. Okay, okay? so don't do this at home. Over here, we've got a cast iron skillet filled with some paraffin like a hydrocarbon, it's, it's like oil as well. Okay. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're heating it up very, very hot. You can see it's smoking, all right? Yeah. So we're gonna actually gonna light the oil on fire. Oh, all okay, right, I didn't realize that was gonna happen. What might happen in, say, a grease fire. So we'll just add a little bit of flame to the top here, see if we can get it to ignite. A little bit of a little, bit, got of a little bit of flame going on there. Yeah. Okay, so it is on fire. Now, if this happened in your kitchen, the last thing you'd want to do is try to move that. Again, you could spill it. Right. And if you do have a lid, go ahead and put a lid on it. What you don't want to do is add water to it. Really? Okay. Let me show you. Let's step back. Okay. okay. <laughs> We've got little squirters here filled with water. What we're going to do is we're going to direct these water streams into, so you might want to hold it up high. Okay. We're going to splash into that uh, tray of oil, which is on fire. Ready? Right. Here we go. Just normal water in here. Right. Whoa. Wow. That I did not expect. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. So you, you get the idea here. That's a yeah. tiny little tray. Nobody cooks with these little, I don't know what these are made for, maybe cornbread or something like that. Nobody cooks with one of those. You're going to have sure. a much larger tray. Right. And if you added water to something on a much larger tray, I mean, that was a significant ball of fire. You can imagine in your home, what happens is you throw that water in there, it heats up, it expands, turns to steam, and it ejects all that burning oil to create that giant flame ball we just saw. Wow. So definitely don't do that. Just put a lid on it, never add water. Now see, when, <laughs> I, when I watch them do the saganaki, the flaming cheese in Greek town, you know, yeah. you see it go up. Yeah. I always thought there was some sort of alcohol in there. It doesn't necessarily mean it was. There, there could be, but in <laughs> case of a grease fire, never add water. Wow. That's the big takeaway. All right, well, hey, thanks so. very much, Carl. You can learn all kinds of stuff and do some hands-on experiments, not, not like this, this <laughs> but you can do them down here at the Imagination Station. They open today at 10 o'clock, and if you're a Lucas County resident, you can bring in two kids for the price of one adult. Right? That's exactly. how it works. Yep. All right. Well, thanks very much, Carl. It says take home lesson, but don't try it at home. That is this week's Imagine It. Now we're going to turn it now over to the guys with sports.